Thank you for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Sophia and the Spaghetti Breathing Dragon tells the story of a simple and fun activity between a man and his daughter. The daughter wants to draw a dragon, not an ordinary dragon, but the best dragon in the whole wide world. And the problem is, is that his daughter is too young to be able to draw the dragon of her dreams. So dad volunteers to draw the dragon and Sophie dreams big. Bit by bit, she describes her dragon and bit by bit, dad draws it in pen and ink until we see the most marvelous dragon emerge in black and white. It has the usual dragon elements, a big head and a long pointed tail. But as her father asks more questions about what the dragon looks like, Sophia's imagination soars to seven legs one arm, two hands, spikes on the dragon's back, each spike wearing a hat and on and on. Until dad asks, will the dragon breathe fire? Well, no, Sophie's dragon breathes spaghetti and smells like banana muffins. As this book shows, there's no end to a child's imagination. As you can see, this book is in black and white, an unusual choice for illustrations, but the author notes some children may have become overstim may become overstimulated by using too much color. So this book leads the child to add the colors of their imagination. And the paper used is perfect for the child to color the dragon the way they want. It is a book to read and an activity all in one. This book was self-published by John Seymour of Osgood, Ontario and it's only available at amazon.ca. You can find it using the link I placed below in the comments section. And if you like supporting new writers and artists, and I hope you do, this is a great place to start. Thank you for listening to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte, and please subscribe below. Bye-bye.